What's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to a brand new video. This is WebDev Journey and today we're going to be talking about EJS mostly. Uh, we are going to be adding a little bit of business logic, uh, but it's not going to be that much to the point where it really matters. <laughs> we're just fitting out some JSON for right now. But yeah, EJS and business logic, I guess. So first of all, I do want to talk about these two folders that I added. One is a data, it's basically our database, this is what I'm saying, right? So our feedback, it's just feedback and our speakers, the information for every speaker that we have. And then next is our services. Now, if you've been with me, you know what services is. It's basically all the CRUD operations that you basically need to grab data from the database or to do whatever you want to the database. Get data, post data, update data, whatever, right? So that's all the services, okay? So I'm not going to talk about these too much. You could actually go in here and read them. It's very, very easy to uh, know what we're doing in here. So let's actually initiate those in server.js. So const, we're going to say feedback service. We're going to say that equal to require. And let's require that service. Services slash feedback. And we're going to do the exact same thing for uh speaker so speaker and now let's make uh new instances of these classes so const whoa what did i just do there const it might be so i might be actually even though i do mistype a lot i might do something weird because i just spilled coffee all over my keyboard believe it or not which sucks Feedback service is going to equal a new instance of feedback service. And we do need to pass in the actual data we want to use. As you can see, our constructor up here does expect a data file. So all we need to do is pass in the data. So data and then slash feedback. Now I'm doing the exact same thing. Oh, and Dell. now let's do the same thing. So feedback service, control D, D. And then what do we want? The speaker, speaker service right here. Let this one be in capital S. Now all we want, now we need to do is just pass in these services down into routes. I'm going to do it in as in a object format, services or feedback and then speaker service. Awesome. And this is why I like doing it this way. It's just simpler for me guys is you don't have to do it this way it's just a new way of doing it there's not a re there's really not a wrong or right way of doing routes or how to mount them and all that stuff i just i just like the way this i yeah i just like how this works for me i don't know it's uh, it's purely optionate uh, uh, opinionated you can do whatever you want but let's go inside routes index we are passing some stuff so i'm gonna just call it params for right now and I'm gonna pass in params into the speaker and the uh, feedback route so now let's go inside the speaker params and we're gonna just destructure the thing that we want which is const oops I'm gonna destructure right here uh, all we want is the speaker service which equals params and if you don't know what this does basically I'm saying params dot speaker service and we're just assigning that to speaker service this is the exact same thing but I just did it in the destructure format like this so exactly the same thing okay so down here let's get rid of this const Speaker, so we're gonna get all the speakers. It's going to equal a weight speaker service dot get list. Boom. And then down here, we're going to return a response with dot JSON with that those speakers speakers just like that and since we're using a weight right here we do need to do an async 
up here. Now let's do the exact same thing for our feedback. Get rid of this. Instead of speakers, we want control D, D, D. We want the feed back. Feedback, and this is going to be from the feedback. Okay, yes. And there we go. This should work. And what we're, we're basically doing is grabbing all the feedback, getting the list. Remember the get list, which is going to give us all the feedback. And we're going to spit it out as a response, as a JSON format and that stuff. So we could actually see this in and play npm run dev. Hopefully nothing, something went wrong. Let's see what went wrong. Params, const feedback equal. Oh. We're not right here. Or Rams. Control save. There we go. All right. Now let's give this a go. Localhost 4000. I switched it to 4000. If I do slash speakers, oh, we're, we're getting an error. Let's see what's wrong. Speaker service dot get list. Let me see. Oh, just like that. All right, let's try it again. Yes. All right, npn run. Uh, we're still getting an error. Why is that? I finally got it to work. It took me like two minutes to figure it out. The reason why is because, man, it's always the dumbest things. It was speakers with an S dot JSON. I only had speaker dot JSON. It's speakers with an S. And yeah, that's why. So anyways, going back to our site, you see that we, if we go to sp slash speakers, we do get our JSON of all the speakers. And if we go to feed back, we should get all the feedback in JSON format, which is right. All right. Awesome. We have, like I said, it's not that much of a business logic, but we do have something to start off with now. Let's talk a little bit about EJS and templates and layouts. So for right now, let me actually hold on. Let's go back to the do local host and then 3000. All right. This is not our, our uh, project. This is our project. But anyways, look, check this out. What I want to do is, and this, this is what you should do with every project. Just lay out all the different components that you probably need. Now, this is a simple project. We're not going to have that many components. And I don't want to make that many components anyways. So the, the one component I do want to talk about is pretty much the layout, the whole layout of the whole application. And we're just injecting things in this layout. Now this layout, what I'm talking about is actually just this hero right here, not hero, but this page right here, or this top part of it, this whole component with the art meetups and the nav bar. As you can see, if I go to a specific artist, this stays the same. If I go to all speakers, this stays the same. Even if I go to feedback, this stays the same. So we're going to actually make that our layout. And what we're going to do is that every time they go to a different route, we're going to inject the HTML, this HTML down here for that specific route. So let's go to home for our home page. All we're going to do is inject all this HTML into the layout for our speakers. We're going to inject this HTML into the layout. You get what I'm talking about, right? So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's go back in here and in, inside of views, we're going to create a new folder called layout. And in here, I'm actually going to go, let me get some rid of some of this other uh, static, the index, we're going to move this inside of the layout, move it. Yes. I'm going to rename it with one next. And we're going to do this is going to be an EJS template. Now what I'm going to do is just copy this and actually paste it inside of pages as well. Because what we want to do is inside of the layout, we want to get rid of actually no. We're going to rename this to home. Don't know why I copied it. Ignore what I did, just make a new file called home EJS, leave it blank. Inside of in, in index.ejs, we want to get rid of everything except for the header, which is right here, this header, right? So we want to grab all this going all the way down here. Damn it. 
Where is that? Uh, where is it at? Right here. Grab that. Cut that out. What we want to do is go to the home.ejs. This is all blank, and just paste that in there. Control X. Let me get rid of some of these things. Too many things open. Okay. Now our, our index.js. Our layout is just. It just has all of our. Um, I guess generic things for all the pages, which is that header, the top header stuff right here, all this and the nav bar. And that is it. And plus the scripts, obviously. Right. And what we did was grab all the HTML that has this, this whole HTML right here and just put that in a home.ejs. Now we want to inject it inside of speakers or this layout. Right. So let's go back in here. Now what I'm going to do is not in home in index. I was like, where is it at? Right under header. I'm going to say, let me actually make this look a little bit better. Okay, right here. We're going to use EJS um, syntax and we're going to use the dash instead of the equal. We're not in assigning anything. We're just uh, including something. So do the less than percent dash, not equal dash. Okay. And we're going to say include, we're going to include an actual uh, EJS file or EJS template. And where does that live? Well, it lives in pages slash home.ejs. Now, if I control save this and actually run it, well, I need to refactor my routes, remember? In my index, we're just doing send. But if I control save this and actually uh, routed it the proper way, this would work. But the thing is, it's only going to work for home.ejs. Now, remember, we still have our speakers, our individual speakers, and our feedback uh, pages or templates as well. And we want to do it. We want to do this part dynamically. So what I'm going to do is add do template string. So ticks instead of home EJS, we're going to be passing in the actual data that we want to render it right here. So dollar sign. And I'm going to say template control save this. Now let's go inside of index.html and instead of res.send, we're going to do res.render. What do we want to render? Well, we're, we're always going to render out the um, layout, but we want to pass in the template that we want to inject inside that layout, right? So the template is called home home yeah home <laughs> i was like what what is it called really all right so now if you go back to the page this is the 3000 3000 is the finished product 4000 is the one we want to do if you go to the actual home of it oh check this out we got an error which is a good thing this is uh let's see what's going on template is not defined did i spell it right let me see copy I did not spell it right. That's the reason. So let's go back to our page, refresh it. And there you go. We actually have our home page rendering out the actual template or the home template that we want. If I still go to feedback slash feedback, we should. Okay. We don't have anything yet. Okay. Now what I want to do is actually talk about partials. Okay. So let me get rid of this. Inside of index.ejs for the layout, not for the for anything else, for the layout, going inside layout. Partials means that there's some partial things. Now a partial could be this nav right here. It's something very small that we could actually uh, put it in its separate file. So that way, if we want to do some extra work on this nav, we know exactly where to find it without actually having to scroll through all this, even though that's not that much, but you could see you could probably guess that it or you could probably see that it, this file could actually be pretty big so we just want to export this uh, nav section into a different file and just include it as we did with home so what we're going to do is inside of layout I'm going to create another folder a new folder this is going to be called partials and inside there I'm going to create a new file called nav.ejs and what I'm going to do is grab this nav bar, cut that sucker out, 
paste it right here, control save. Now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing. Copy, paste, it's not gonna live there. Slash partial slash nav dot EJS. Now this is hard coded in there because we don't want this to be dynamic. This is literally always going to be nav dot EJS. We could also do it for the scripts. Notice that we have quite a bit of scripts down here. So we could actually just grab this, exit that out. And inside of partials, I'm gonna create another file. You can name these files, whatever you want. I'm just say scripts dot EJS. Paste that in there, control save. Now it's going to be the exact same thing. So I'm copy this, paste it right there and scripts. Just like that. Let me actually make this a little bit, look a little bit nicer. Control save, get rid of the extra spaces because we don't need them. And you can see that this file just got a punch. It, it just got shorter, which is great, which is great. It, it, it gives us a little uh, component, you know, structured wise to actually see where our components are at and just quickly navigate to our specific component. Now this is, com this is, uh, you could use react if you want to, but there's not, it's not that big of a deal with react or it's not a big of a deal to use react. The reason why is because we don't have that many components. First of all, we don't have that many components. Uh, to actually do it. So that's why I'm just sticking with the template engine. Let's go back to home page, see if this works. And yeah, it still works. Yep. It still works. Pretty cool, huh? Anyways, that was it guys. That's all we wanted to do in this video. Uh, basically all we did was added some business logic with our services and just pass that down to our routes. Um, and just, you know, made components and partials for our EJS template. Now we have a, a place to include our template and just passing in the template that we want inside of our route. Now, what I want you guys to do is actually focus on the speakers and the feedback route. And, and this is just to uh, render out the actual template. Now inside of static, you do have those feedback and speakers and the individual speaker if you wanted. But you do have these right here, so I encourage you to try it out, to try out to, uh, you know, actually inject that HTML inside of a render, res.render into the layout. It's pretty simple, guys. It's not that much work. It really is simple, so I encourage you to actually try it. But that was it for this video, guys. Uh, in the next video, that we're going to do exactly that. We're going to uh, render out the rest of the page, which is all the other HTMLs. HTML, the other routes, the feedback, the speakers, individual speakers. And we're also, we're also going to be using the data coming back from feedback and speakers to actually render out the, the, the actual things. So inside of speakers, you see right here that we have going down more down right here, this div, we're going to do this just one time, but rendering it out three times since we have it three times right here, we're going to just do it one time and just loop through the speakers and spit out this same as that HTML right here, all with EJS. We're going to do that. It's pretty simple guys. Nothing too hard. I hope you enjoyed this, this, um, video like comment, subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, I appreciate all of your time you spent on my videos. I really do appreciate it guys because you're spending your time watching my videos and your time means a lot to me. It really does. And it should mean a lot to you as well. So thank you guys for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.